Hi there. My name is Corey Dodds, and I'm the lead benefits staff attorney here at Kentucky Legal Aid in Bloomington, Kentucky. First, as a lifetime member of the WKU Alumni Association, I want to congratulate you on your success at WKU and welcome you to our ranks as a WKU alumni. As you make this transition to post collegiate life, I'm delighted by the opportunity to share with you some general education and top tips that one should keep in mind as a team author. I hope that these can help avoid misunderstandings with the landlord uh, at the outset, but also provide some information about available resources if a person find, finds themselves in a dispute with the landlord. First, when renting a home or apartment, it's important to always read a written lease. In general, a written lease or rental agreement is the contract that defines the, the rights and responsibilities of the homeowner and landlord. It's important to have this in writing to avoid misunderstandings or disputes about who is responsible for what. I, rec I recommend keeping a physical copy as well as making a digital copy that's backed up in the cloud so that it's easy to reference and hard to lose. Second, before signing that lease, the home renter should have the opportunity to inspect the, to inspect the property and to ensure it's suitable and in good condition. Pre-existing damages should be documented by the landlord and homeowner to ensure that there will be no misunderstandings as to who will be responsible for repairing them, either before the homeowner moves in or after they move out. Similarly, the lease agreement should be thoroughly read before signing to ensure it accurately matches what is actually being agreed to. For example, if the tenant inspected and agreed to rent a one-bedroom apartment for $500 a month, they should say that, and not a two-bedroom apartment for $1,000. If the document has provisions that are unclear or vague, the landlord and homeowner can further clarify uh, their understanding of those terms in writing the lease before it's signed. Third, I want to note that uh, tenants' rights and housing laws vary pretty dramatically from state to state, and sometimes even locations within one state. However, the Federal Housing Act applies everywhere in the United States and protects homeowners from discrimination. The Fair Housing Act applies to landlords who own more than four rental units or, or who use a, rental, uh, a real estate agency. Covered landlords are prohibited from discriminating in rent against uh, homeowners because of race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status, or disability. This includes the right to be free from sexual harassment, and under the Biden administration, these fair housing protections have been expanded to include gender identity in people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. Homeowners who believe they have been discriminated against can make a complaint through the U.S. Department for Housing and Urban Development, but I recommend seeking the assistance of an attorney or a HUD-certified housing counselor before doing so. Fourth, if a landlord files for eviction, called a forcible detainer here in Kentucky, the homeowner should always go to court. I hope no one uh, ever finds themselves in this situation, but if the homeowner does not show up to court, the landlord will automatically win and the homeowner may be removed from the property after seven days. In order for a landlord to evict the homeowner, they must file that court case. Landlords cannot change the locks or turn off utilities without a valid court order. Homeowners who have been forced out of their apartment without a court order may have been unlawfully evicted and should speak with an attorney about their options. Fifth and finally, uh, and you may sense the theme here, it's important to speak with uh, an attorney or a uh, housing counselor certified by the U.S. Department for Housing and Urban Affairs uh, uh, to fully understand your housing rights or to receive legal assistance if you're in a dispute with, 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 a, with your landlord. As I mentioned, tenant rights and housing law varies dramatically from state to state and sometimes by location within the state. For example, in Kentucky, homeowners currently have more protections in Louisville or Lexington than in South Central and Western Kentucky. An attorney or housing counselor can assist in understanding those rights and perhaps provide legal assistance in the dispute with the law. Uh, an attorney who represents you or a housing counselor uh, representing you 
can hear the facts about your specific situation and provide specific legal advice and explain how the law applies to that situation. Kentucky Legal Aid, where I work, provides free legal advice and assistance for individuals in South Central and Eastern Kentucky who meet certain qualifying criteria. To apply for our services, please contact our intake department at 270-782-5740 between 8.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Likewise, legal aid is available in all 50 states. If you're no longer in South Central or Western Kentucky, uh, you can find the legal aid organization that covers your area by visiting lsc.gov and clicking on Find Legal Aid. In closing, I hope this information has helped you better understand your rights as a homeowner and resources that may be available to you. Again, congratulations on all you've achieved on the Hill, and I look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you as an alum at Commencement. Go Tops!